If you want news and rumors that appeal, welcome to the dust. Welcome back to the Dusty Wheel. I'm your host, The Innkeeper, and this is our live call and talk show all about the Wheel of Time. And tonight, I mean, I guess Taylor wants me to call this, everybody. I know we're back at Taylor's apartment. That's right. This is Taylor's apartment. And he loved, one of you named this the spare wheel. So don't be surprised if that sign has like a little something over it that says spare wheel. That's right. The piano bar, uh, you know. It is what it is, guys. This is what's happening. And actually, no Taylor tonight. I, I have his apartment, and we're just going to talk Wheel of Time this evening. And uh, thank you for your patience. It's been like, I don't know, two weeks or something. So appreciate you guys uh, being patient while we, when we can have shows, when we can't. And tonight, we're going to chill. Uh, that's because of all of the amazing Wheel of Time news that's dropping recently. I don't know if you've seen it all, but we'll talk about that. And uh, we're going to be playing some Wheel of Game Time. You guys ready for this? You know, um, That thing is amazing, by the way. The old one, we don't need the old one anymore. Uh, but to do this with me, to play the Wheel of Game Time, I have two wonderful guests tonight. Let me welcome to the show two super fans from Twitter of Time, new to the Dusty Wheel, Tavis Sadai and April Pixie. How are you both doing tonight? Hi. Hi. You guys, you guys ready for this? Yes, yes, excited. <laughs> okay, I, I want to, so. everyone, you uh, are, uh, this part is kind of, I know it feels like this moment of like, oh, wow, we're live for the first time here. It'll melt away. You'll forget that there's even, you know, 100 plus people sitting there at home just watching us and talking right. about us in chat. That'll go away and uh, you'll have a lot of fun. It's, this will be great. Thank you both for making time tonight. I talked about always wanting to get some new guests in. We've done this now for three years. And so I was like, I have to wheel a game time with some, some new, new guests. But I know you've been following, obviously, uh, what we do at the Dusty Wheel on Twitter of Time. And you also have been fans. I don't know exactly for how long because I haven't asked you. So Teva Sadai, what was your, give us your quick elevator uh, story, if you will, about how you got into the Wheel of Time. Sure. Um... I, several years ago, <laughs> don't tell my age, but um, I guess early, um, early 2000 is when I was introduced to the, the series. Um, so my husband actually, <laughs> he uh, told me about the, the, about the book. So I uh, started reading it and, you know, really enjoyed it. So yeah, that's when I started. So finished um, probably... I don't know when, as soon as Memory of Light came out, I was like ready to get into it. Nice. Um, and then, you know, a year after that, I, I finished the series and then found, um, you know, New Springs and read that. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, yeah, I haven't gone back to read it since, but, you know, found out about the show uh, two years ago and started to reread just to get a refresher on it. Sure. Yeah, that's awesome. And then yeah. the same time I joined Twitter <laughs> and found this wonderful community. So I, yeah, and then I just be a you know been a super fan ever since. <laughs> yeah, I love it. No, it's a it's a fun place to jump on. You know, talking about your favorite fantasy series and adaptation for it on a daily basis <laughs> online is a yeah. life for some of us, not for everybody out there, but for some of us, for people yeah. like sitting in chat right now. Uh, <laughs> April, what's your, what's your kind of origin story, if you will? 
Um, my best friend um, that I met when I was 16 years old in high school, um, he start, he had read the books. And for, I think, a decade, he was nagging me to read the books. And I just felt like, okay, I'm going to read the books because I'm a huge sci-fi fantasy geek. But it, I was intimidated by how many books there were. So I was thinking it was going to be maybe a retirement project. You know, <laughs> little time books. Um, but literally, he was like literally nagging me pretty cons- pretty consistently. And then then they announced the show. And it wasn't even, he, he didn't even spare time to even nag me. He would just stare at me like every day. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, all right. And, and since it was the pandemic, that had literally no excuse. Like we had extra time on our hands. So um, I am very new to Wheel of Time because I didn't start reading it until 2020, 20 slash 2021 leading into nice. the show. Um, but yeah, I read it and um, I complained about it like we all do. <laughs> um, but I recognize its genius as well. And I've been a fan um, ever since. So not very long, but. I mean, and we met at uh, WatCon. So that yeah, was Yeah, we awesome. met at WatCon, which was like such the, I almost didn't go. Like I have like, that's a whole separate story, but I almost didn't go. <laughs> And thank God my, my friends just talked me into it. They're like, just go, just go. And it was such a wonderful experience. I had, like, that's probably one of the most lovely experiences I've had in a, like, in, in a really long time. Yeah, it was a blast. I mean, for and I can't wait till next year, both JordanCon and WatCon, you know, just meeting up with fans. I, I, I say this because I know a lot of fans out there maybe didn't love the show. And some of you really didn't love it. Uh, and I know when I go to Jordan Con, uh, you know, the regardless if you love the show, as long as, you know, you're a fan of the books and you're not a jerk, <laughs> it's a great place to go just to hang out with fans uh, and talk about the books. And uh, I think for me at, at WatCon, what was amazing was just kind of just hanging out with the community. It almost seemed to be even less so like people talking in, in hallways about like minutia, which I love to do with the books and more so just talking uh, and getting to know each other. So yeah, it was, it was a blast. I'm glad you were there. Teva, you should, you know, one uh, day. Yeah. You, you, one, <laughs> one day, day. <laughs> it'd be awesome to have you there. Uh, and it's, it's awesome to see everyone in the chat here. A lot of you, like I said, uh, it's been a couple weeks and I know that we had, it's been, I guess three weeks maybe since we've done like a full show Something like that. I don't know, because we had an interview and we didn't do a show that night. So uh, it's awesome to see everybody in chat. Let's get to the, let's jump to the, the poll here and then we'll do the, the little. Uh, I had, will there be an official Wheel of Time season two news before in the end of season one of Rings of Power? And about 200 of you voted on this. And uh, I'm going to end this. 52% believe. Look at you. I, it's, uh, I love, as I say this, I love the hope. I love the hope that. <laughs> I mean, I think you have reason to hope because they've given us like nothing recently. So I think it is possible since we've gotten nothing now that in the next six weeks, there definitely could be something. I mean, we did get a piece of news. For those of you waiting on the Wheel of Time Animated Origins, uh, it is not being released in August 2022 if you're still waiting on it. So (laughs) we don't know uh, when at this point it's going to be released. My guess would be not during rings of power that's going to be my guess at this point so uh but but we don't really have much other news so i think let's get to the wheel of game time if you've never seen us play the wheel of game time let me uh quickly i'll show you what this is obviously this wonderful wheel that i spun at the beginning it has numbers uh, up to 21 that's right uh that all important number of 21 when it comes to the wheel of time uh that there's 21 there in numbers. We have topics and questions that fans have submitted that we came up with, and we put them on a list, and we're going to spin that. We're going to talk about it. We're also uh, going to, uh, I think, the call lines. I'm going to put this up here. This is a live call and talk show. I know you're shocked. We're not even like, we're about like 10 minutes in, and the call line is like up. This used to be like a thing. When we first started the place, the call lines were up like immediately. Uh, and we started kind of like half an hour in, 45 minutes in. There, the call lines are up because I want you to call in to participate in this, uh, to give some of your answers to what we spin here. So uh, are, you, are you both ready for this, Teva, April? Yeah, yeah I'm all set. Okay. 
let's uh <laughs> let's let's spin <laughs> let's spin this wheel let me uh let me so everybody can kind of see it we'll take our first spin here we here we go oh boy let's see I'm going to get stopped. That's a, I have to like, I almost can't see it over here. That looks like a seven to me. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's find out what topic number seven is. Okay. Stout two river woolens or spills of lace. Stout two river wool woolens or spills of lace. I'll go to you first, April, on this one. What, what, do you, what say you? For, this is, I'm a lace girl. I, I between those two things, I gotta go with the lace. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like whenever you say something is stout and woolen, I think it's, <laughs> it's gonna somehow be itchy, um, warm, warm, but but maybe uh, itchy. Uh, the lace, it's gonna be soft. It's flattering, and so I'm, I'm, I'm a team okay. lace all the way. Okay. Okay. I, how about how about you, Tava? Are you a stout, two rivers um, woolens or uh, <laughs> spills of lace? I first I thought I was a stout, <laughs> two rivers <laughs> woolen because sounds dirty. <laughs> but then when April <laughs> said that you know comfort and soft, I was like, okay, <laughs> I like that too. So <laughs> yeah, I liked. Yeah, I like soft I, and comfort. <laughs> I'm gonna have so, to. Uh, I'm. I think I'm gonna have to. Go, I'm gonna have to agree with you. I'm. I'm gonna go lace here. Let me. I don't think we have anybody that's called in yet, do we? Nope. No one's called in, so no one can say. If you have an answer, you want to call in and ask, or if you want to ask us a question, there's be some news that has come up. Uh, feel free to give us a call again. It's one three one three eight two five five nine six eight. We are not in Detroit. I know that everyone. <laughs> So many people have called and then like, 313, you're so close. Uh, that just happens to be talk Watt went along with 1313, talk Watt. That's right. So, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's spin it again. That was kind of on that line of more ridiculous ones. There's some serious uh, <laughs> questions here. Those, oh, no. They're not all like this. So here we go, everybody. Okay, what do we got? That looks like a two to me. Okay, so uh, let's let's bring you both in. Number two. Okay, this one is going to take a little bit of thought here. I need a modern day object, and mm -hmm. I want you to create a Terangriel usage that's unexpected. So a modern day object. I want to see people that are in chat. Uh, <laughs> wow, this is a this is great. Uh, Man fear wears lace. Thanks a lot there to Rivers Badger. I appreciate that. That's, that's okay. a good one. <laughs> that's a, I like it. That's a, that's, well, well done. Well done. Uh, take a modern day, current day object and give me a Tarangriel uh, usage that's unexpected from that. And I want to see some answers here in chat too. So Teva, I went to April 1st. Anything coming to mind as far as the object and then the unexpected usage as a Tarangriel? Car key, you always, you know, have it when you travel. So maybe um, it trap it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so car keys. Yeah, yeah, unexpected. Yeah, What's the unexpected use? Like you, you somebody grabs their car keys and you actually think they're real car keys, but they're actually a Tarangriel, and it's unexpectedly it, doing what for that person? It transported that person to whatever they were thinking at the moment. <laughs> Okay. So it, place. Yeah. Okay. So anywhere <laughs> they're thinking, it transports mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, the uh, woolen. Let's go to woolens uh, or lace here. Wow, we are almost a fifty-fifty kind of crowd here. Woolens or or lace. So, but but stout two river woolens did take that. So, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like uh, Andrew Berenson here. Uh, said a hat that uh, creates gateways. Mm -hmm. You got to go unexpected. I want to see some really, oh. really good unexpected here usage. Okay, April, give me your object, and then the <laughs> unexpected use as a Tarant Grail. I'm I'm not sure if this is unexpected enough, but um, uh, before we got started, I was having an experience with my uh, Bluetooth earbuds. So I was thinking Bluetooth earbuds, and and they allow you to um, hear like everything like from everywhere like that like that like like the the couson on in Encanto. it's but they're okay. 
<laughs> basically uh, gives you like uh, the double of Hell's Kitchen capabilities. Yes, uh, like you can I, you I can like hear it. whispers yeah. from across the room. Exactly. Okay. But yeah, okay, I think so... I was like in line with Teva, where it's like you know the key <laughs> for a car, so you're driving somewhere, and like yeah, you know, bugs for <laughs> like so. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, and I want to put this out creative. to chat. You, you have a, you have a, we have Terangriel uh, car keys, and I want to see some interesting ideas here. And we have Terangriel Bluetooth headphones, and I wanted you to give me some unexpected uses of these things. And we have our first caller coming in, so let's bring our caller. Maybe they've brought with them an idea of a modern day object, also in a Terangriel. And oh, that's interesting. Uh, Bluetooth earphones to hear. By the way, I said to hear, and then I accidentally clicked on April's Bella, which is great. Uh, so yes, Bella. But I think Bluetooth earphones to hear Teleron Riyadh. That's an interesting. Um, uh, yes, car keys that clean ears. See, there you go. That's a. Yeah, that's, that would be un- that would definitely be unexpected. Um, uh, that's the yes the dusty wheel mug. It can control the weather in a five mile radius. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's bring in our first caller of the night and see what they have to say. Hey, welcome to the Dusty Wheel. Who's this? Great innkeeper. As <laughs> Norm. Always, I, 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 hey, Norm. Cheers, Norm. How you doing, hey. man? Oh, you know, I'm starting a new job and it's just, you know, it, life is good. You know, I am, I am enjoying uh, the new challenge and such. And uh, so, you know, one day at a time. Yeah. Well, uh, I think starting a good a new job sounds like hopefully a, a, a positive there uh, for you. So, but let's let's take you into the escapism route here and jump into Terangriel uses and modern day objects. I have to ask you, Norm, we had Teva brought up car keys as the um, as as a potential Terangriel. And April brought up Bluetooth earphones. I want you to give me unexpected Terangriel usage of both of those objects, and then give me one of your own. Okay, so I have, it has to be... Huh, okay. Unexpected. Yeah. You pick up some car keys, you think it's just car keys, but no, it's actually a Terangriel. What's the unexpected use of that car key? It turns you invisible while, while singing It's a Small World. <laughs> okay. It turns you invisible. No. Yeah, that would be really unexpected. I don't know. I'm trying to imagine the mind it would that would be a come nightmare. up with that. Yeah, the mind that would come up with that particular usage. That's a that's a oh, good question. No. <laughs> okay, give me a Bluetooth uh, earphones. Give me the unexpected usage that comes to mind for you, Norm. Okay, uh, you put on the Bluetooth, and all of a sudden you have. Uh, you have the power to run extremely fast. Okay. So you can just kind of click that kind of little button thing on the Bluetooth earphones and all of a sudden you have super speed. I like it. I was going to say like you, you press that button and all of a sudden you're like an engineer working for zoom or for, for, uh, you know, <laughs> you're just like you, you immediately, you can handle all of your own tech support that way. Like basically if you're having a problem, with something, you just like connect it to whatever app it is or whatever system, and then you press it, and then you can go solve your problem because you become the engineer. There's there's my unexpected use for uh, Bluetooth. Okay, let me Norm. Let me go to you. Uh, do you have a modern day object? And then give me an I unexpected do. use of that as a Terran. I do. So your your object would be a spatula. Okay, a spatula. <laughs> That will help you fall asleep. So, wait, what, <laughs> what happens? You, the spatula you makes it. you fall asleep? Yes. You unexpectedly just fall asleep. Do you have to be like flipping something? Like you flip <laughs> uh, a burger or something with it. And is it like in the flipping of it that then you just fall asleep? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This is the tri- this is your idea. I'm I'm just, uh, I'm just asking for some details, man. Okay. Uh, well, you know the other uh, the other object I was thinking of is a is a whisk. Okay. okay? And, and and with the whisk, you can automatically speak any language that you want. <laughs> but you have to be whisking though with it, or you just have to be holding it. 
<laughs> is like the whisk like a mic? And oh, you actually have to you actually have to be using it. So if you're you know whisking up like an omelet or something, or making okay. pancakes or something, all of a sudden you can speak in the old tongue, or you can speak <laughs> in uh, you know, Japanese or something. Okay, but you have okay. to be using the whisk in some way. Okay, best use of these terangrial. Let me. Uh, so I'm going to. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up a mind like become. Become tech support or become an engineer uh, for uh, the app you need or whatever for to do tech support. <laughs> OK, uh, you just came up with a spatula that lets you speak any language. Um, and then what do we have? Uh, also, let me. Oh, why can I? Oh, that's funny. I can't. Uh, Oh, I can't. That's hilarious. The little screen thing that I'm push, putting that on. I'll have to like come up with because I only can see two options here. I can't add another option. That's funny. I'll figure that out here shortly. So we won't do that poll just yet. Uh, I have to figure out a different way to do those polls, uh, which I'll do over here probably. Uh, okay, uh, Norm, thank you very much for calling in, man. I really appreciate hearing your voice. Good luck on the new job. And uh, hopefully, uh, while we're still here at this temporary you know, dusty wheel location, you'll give us another call, man. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye. Uh, take care. Bye. See Congratulations. You, bye bye. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to have to, let's see how this is going to work out for me. Um, I'm going to do the poll over here. You gotta, this is just all like happening in real time here. Let me pop out the chat. And joy of live shows, right, Matt? Yeah, this is the joy of it, right? Okay. So we were going to ask uh, best Terangreal use there, and we'll move on to the next one. What were the, um, what were the two that you came up with? Uh, Tava, your use was that you basically can transport wherever Ooh. you're thinking? Yep. <laughs> okay. Instead of driving, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and then... Wherever you think. Okay. And then yours was, remind me, April? Um, Bluetooth earbuds that allow you to hear everything else. So people people think that you can't hear them, but you can actually hear whispers and everything else. Okay. And we Norm had the speak any language spatula, and I had the Bluetooth uh, engineer. It was a whisk, wasn't for, it? Was it? Language was it a whisk? whisk? Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Personal tech support. There we go. Okay. Best Terangra use that we came up with, everybody. We'll ask everyone that poll, that question here. I saw a bunch of you here um, in chat that had some fantastic ideas, but I missed them as far as kind of, I don't want to kind of go try to go back and find them. Uh, but maybe, oh, we do have another caller, but let's jump on to our next spin here and see what else we get. Man, I love Wheel of Game Time. Oh, that's 21, 21. So let's see what we got here. Okay. If you visited Prague, that's the prompt. If you visited Prague, you can kind of go anywhere with this. And I went to Taba uh, last, first here, April. So we know as Wheel of Time fans, like they've... They've been working and I like, centered there. I think they had their were they writing in Prague at that at some point. A lot of the actors were uh, living there. There's Jordan Studios there. There's around the area that, a lot of the places that they've uh, uh, filmed. So if you visited Prague, mm -hmm. finish that sentence. Sneak onto set and find craft services. Fascinated <laughs> by craft services. <laughs> sneak uh, onto set. I think if you visited Prague, Prague, you would sneak onto the set. Yes, I think that I is. I really want to try and find the craft services because I'm very curious about what exactly they, they provide. At yeah. these, no. I, I love that you sneak onto the set and you were like, I thought you were going to say find craft services and then like basically like hide there and just like serve food to like the cast and crew like you're working Wait, for I'm craft not services. You. That's not a bad <laughs> idea. But I'm, more, I'm really just fascinated by craft services. So I'm just like kind of curious like yeah, yeah. what they would be serving. <laughs> I, I love it. Uh, sneak onto the set. I feel like that's, I mean, I'm going to end this poll because I want to ask this next one. It's important to just sneak onto the, to the set, you know, just sneak on, 
experience what you can. Yeah. Um, you out. If if you if you visited Prague. I'm like, did I spell Prague wrong? Um, <laughs> would you sneak on to set? Um, this is, uh, if you answer yes here, um, that's where you'll be, they'll find you out. <laughs> they'll be like, who answered yes? Uh, if you visited Prague, would you? I almost said, which you? <laughs> would you sneak on to set? Um, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could. That would, I would, I'm, I I'm too awkward. I'm too awkward in those moments. And I think my face is maybe at this point with the cast and crew would be like, don't we, re we recognize that? No, but I, I would be too awkward. I could not, uh, I couldn't sneak on set. Teva, could you sneak onto set? Uh, no. <laughs> Only if they allow me to go and visit Jordan's but it's studio. Not I would love that. <laughs> but it's not speaking. You're invited. That's not speaking. Yes, yeah. invited to, to go see the Jordan studio. Ooh. I would love that. I like studio. it. I like this. If you visited Prague, uh, mm -hmm. Derek put uh, get a role as an extra. I like that. Uh, I like that one. Um, I like this one. Find the Horn of Valir. <laughs> That's a. Love it. I, I love that. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's fine. I would try to sneak into the table reads in the same <laughs> restaurant they keep using. Um, that's a good one to do. Like, um, <laughs> sneak into Jordan Studios and walk through the way. Oh, I, I'm trying to taking up ideas here. Teva, let me go to you. <laughs> I don't want to. I've just, like, done a bunch of ideas here. If you now, – now it's you – know, you can't use any of those. If, yeah, you visited, easy, if you visited Prague, how do you, how do you finish that sentence? I would find – a um, location where they film where you know you see these um, like leaks all the time where yeah. you know they have filmings I would find their location and try to you know watch <laughs> from a distance <laughs> try to watch from a distance okay. yeah yeah I, I like it I like it I think that there was another person that called in but they must have dropped so hopefully call back uh, I I I, I think I would definitely do that one. So over 100 of you voted on this one. If you visited Prague, would you sneak on set? 70% said yes. I just don't. I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a moment. Like uh, We wish we could. I, mean, I feel like, like you that. wish you would sneak on <laughs> set. Maybe. Yeah. Um, and okay. I like this. Uh, I like the idea of, I mean, go, go. that's where I would do. I would go to the locations. I'd want to go and see some of the. Some of the places that looked really cool, uh, for example, like that one spot where they're sleeping in episode two, I think. It's that location where uh, Perrin, the wolf, comes up and licks his leg. Uh, I, that, that forest area, whatever, looked really, really cool. That's it's, one of the spots. It's so beautiful over there. Yeah. Uh, just want to would, see it. <laughs> I would love that, yeah. So uh, other ideas. Well, while we think about our ideas, let me bring in our next caller to the show. Hey, welcome to the Dusty Wheel. Who's this? Hi, this is Lisa. How are you tonight? Lisa, how are you doing? Excellent. I'm doing actually super, super well. Would you like to know why? Why is that? Because my very best friend uh, who introduced me to Wheel of Time when we were like 14 years old back okay. decades ago. So she yeah. watched the show initially and really did not enjoy it at all. And... So that was really disappointing to me to not be able to talk to her about it. And she messaged me today and said that she had rewatched it and she had let go of some of her book expectations and she absolutely loved it. So that was just such great to me, news that, to me. And that I is feel like, great news. yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, <laughs> again, like to, it's to talk about it, right? Like that's in the end of the day, like whether or not we all agree on what was good or not, or what we liked, it didn't, um, it's the fun part is the actual talking about that, not just kind of hating on it, <laughs> you know? So I, I, that's awesome. That's awesome mm -hmm. that you have someone that a good friend that actually kind of wants to speak with you about it. I mean, tell me as it makes me sound, it sounds like you liked the show. Uh, what was your favorite part of season one? Uh, probably the casting. I mean, there were so many things. I mean, you know, definitely I have complaints as well, but like the casting was spot on. Um, the cinematography, all of the artistic work and design work that went into it was just incredible. There was so much love uh, uh, and creativity put into the show, and it showed. Yeah, absolutely. I, I you know, I was, 
I was re-listening. I had spoken to, um, I was re-listening to uh, an, a, the part of the trailer live stream we did here, and I was speaking to Lauren Balf. And I was just like, uh, he was such a cool, interesting person to to speak with, and the love he showed for just like wanting to get it right and the care of like, how would I bring this? And, you know, with the advice that Rafe gave him as far as what Rafe wanted to see and how he wanted to bring it to, to the screen, like the music, the sounds of the wheel of time, just, he spoke about everyone loved that, you know, all the things he was talking about it. So yeah, I, I was reminded in that kind of just watching back through some of those conversations I've had with cast and crew, they really legitimately were excited and loved it. I think that much uh, hopefully fans can appreciate is that these, these people came in and loved what they worked on, whether or not that hit <laughs> resonated with each of us individually or not, uh, but they loved it. I loved the music. That was, that was definitely one of my favorite parts. One of the most unique pieces I think I've ever heard of fantasy music uh, put to, you know, a show like this. So, well, Lisa, uh, I don't know if you heard, uh, how we're playing wheel of game time here. If you heard the question that I asked my two guests here, but I want to ask you the same question. If you visited Prague, how would you, how would, like, what would you want to do? Well, how would you end that sentence? If I visited Prague, what would you say? If I visited Prague, I would hug the wolves that uh, Marcus has got to interact with. And I would feed lots of liquor to Rafe and try and get questions uh, answered, try and pick his brain. <laughs> I, love, I, I love it. Get, get Rafe drunk to pick his brain and hug the wolves. I think I that, is a, that, that is a great answer. Uh, was casting your favorite part? Uh, only about 80 have voted on this one so far. I just asked this uh, you know, a minute or two ago, but 70% said yes. So that is something I've heard a lot, even from fans that are like, I'm not going to watch season two or something, but the casting was fine. You know, <laughs> whatever they'll say, that kind of thing. Uh, but I love that, that the wolves, uh, that was, I remember waiting and, you know, until the show was coming, you know, was going to start season one was going to start. Uh, the wolves, the highlight was one of the highlights of one of the, pieces of information that Watt series, I think, put out there as far as uh, uh, pictures of the wolves themselves. I just remember how everyone was like uh, loving on the fact that we were going to get some wolves in the show. Uh, but hey, Lisa, thank you very much for calling us and sharing that good piece of news uh, that you had today as far as it related to the Wheel of Time. Yeah, and thanks for just calling in to the show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, Have absolutely. a great night. Appreciate it. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. That's fun. That was a lot of fun. Now I have another caller. They look like they're from calling from outside of the country. So I don't want to make them wait too long. We haven't done another. Well, maybe let's, let me spin this. Let's, let's find out what the next topic is and we'll let them answer it first. And then I'll go to you two. How does that, does that sound? That, that works, good. right? Okay, here we go. That's uh, <clears throat> I don't think we've, uh, that's 11 right there. Okay. Okay. We're on 11. I won't reveal what this question is just yet. Let's, Let's bring our next caller into the show. Hey, welcome to the Dusty Wheel. Who's this? Hey, it's Jenny, Lesbian Nerdy. Lesbian Nerdy! Hey, hey. what's up? Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, how are you doing? Not much. Not much. I, didn't, I didn't make you wait I'm, that I'm long good. tonight. I'm good. You know, it was just like five oh my, minutes. It wasn't too bad. You. So, so okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wheel of Game Time. It's been a while since we've done this. You're the first. You get to answer this one first. Mm -hmm. uh, which okay, Wheel of Time okay. character would you want to see transported Nynaeve. to Woodstock? <laughs> you want to see Nynaeve in Woodstock? Is that? I know that's your that, your Nynaeve I mean, is like my land fair. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so well, Nynaeve at Woodstock. Oh my goodness! Yes, transported to Woodstock. Okay. Right. Step back. <laughs> Step back from your love of the character. I get it. Um, try to try to step back from that and then answer that question again. If it couldn't be naive, how about that? I should start every question with you like that, shouldn't I? Yeah. If it could not be naive, which character would you want to see transported to Woodstock? Right. Like I literally said naive right after you said which character. I just stopped at that point. But, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, um, Ooh, I mean, Kate, my name would be really fun to have there because I bet you she'd be irritated by, like, all of the chicanery <laughs> that would be going on. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> she would not stick around. Yeah. Like, you know, 
Unless no, Egwene was there, too. Too school people. There'd be a lot of something stick activity. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> I can see Tom that. Tom and Asmodian are the two, like... Asmodian. Oh, Asmodian. oh like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, oh, I, I got it. it. Okay. Would what? you... Okay. Yeah. Would you want to see... As Mo- oh, actually, I'm going to save this one because I want to hear the three. We'll, we'll pick. Asmodian is like, that is. I, you have to tell me, Jenny, Asmodian or Tom? You have to pick between those two. I'm going to pick Asmodian because, like, that's okay. the whole thing, right? Like, he wants to hear all the music. So, like, send him to Woodstock. Let him hear oh all gosh. the music. <laughs> the stuff he Maybe would do he to those people. From the dark. I can't believe you'd put Asmodian in Woodstock oh. and all those people at risk to the forsaken Asmodian. <laughs> but it's a great answer. It's a great. Okay. 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 Teva, you've now, you've had time to think about this. Um, who, and Tom is still available, but who would you want, which Wheel of Time character would you transport it's to easy. Woodstock? Um, I'm thinking uh, Matt. Matt. Okay. Why? Matt, why I, Matt? I think he's. Ooh, Matt would have fun. Yeah, I think he's going to have fun. It, it's yeah, Matt, a fun yeah. time, and he's going to have a good time. <laughs> Matt, Matt's going to have a good time? <laughs> he's okay. going to have a okay. good time. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You, you, don't, you don't have to like him. Yeah. Like, like that, everyone's like, Matt, okay, I understand. Matt would enjoy mean. some of the, uh, the illicit substances Three times. that are, yeah. are, are proliferating the best. Yes. I like this one. Asmo fronting Santana. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We have Asmodian and Matt. April, it's to you. We're going to we're gonna poll everybody about this one. Uh, we're giving them four options. Who's our third option here? Mm-hmm. Well, first I want to clarify because it's a good question in chat. We are talking about the 1969. Yes. The we're talking the original. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Where the, yeah. the, the dulcet tones of Jimi Hendrix will soothe Asmodi, Asmodian, I mm-hmm. guess. <laughs> uh, I, I love it. I love the clarification. That's Yeah, so who would you send there? Right. Well, it's funny because Tom was my first choice. Like, I like my first thought with the whole music connection, um, I don't remember everyone that's been there, but, like, was it like was the mamas and the papas there? Like I kind of just see him like accompanying like Mama Cass. <laughs> <for some reason. laughs> Tom, yeah, I mean Tom is a Tom's great. That's a Tom is a good option. Are you going with it? Do you want to go with Tom? I'm going with it. If I'm allowed, I'm going okay. with it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this one's I'm like I'm seeing everybody else's options here because I got to throw someone in here. You know, I, I, no, it's I can't be. It's not gonna be Landfear. Uh, Aludra is a really fun <laughs> idea. Mirel is, uh, that's, that's really good. Valda, uh, that's a funny idea. Brigitte. Valda, oh, oh, yeah. Brigitte would be. Ooh, she would love it, I know. think. Brigitte would have so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Brigitte. Oh, my gosh. Can you yeah. imagine Brigitte and Matt at like Woodstock that. together? Oh, yeah. Oh, Valen, my God. Valen really Luca. <laughs> Valen Luca. I like the Valen Luca idea. That was a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, I. There's God, so many. Cho- there's, this is the problem: is that Jordan gives you so many characters that you could choose here. Um, oh man, Valenuka uh, yeah. would be trying to like find people, get them to like join his circuit. Yeah, you I know? like. That's what he would be doing. I like. I like Brigitte there. Okay, so who would you want to see transported to Woodstock? Asmodian, Matt, Tom, or Brigitte? Let's <laughs> ask everybody. We'll leave that question going up uh I, i'm i'm curious i don't this isn't like a foregone conclusion of who wins this one uh, i think asmodian to me is a really <laughs> strong bet but that's not that's not the that's not the that's not the only one i i, I think any one of those would be interesting one so yeah it'll be fun okay uh jenny you we'll let you stick around we have another caller on but i'll give you you're calling long outside of the country so i'll let you stay just for one more question, then we'll uh, say good night. So here we go. Oh, well, thank you. And we'll get your answer, and then we'll let you go. Let's see if we have a duplicate. No, that's 12. 12. We are at 12, everyone. <laughs> so what question do we have? Ooh, these are so tough. Um, oh, no. <laughs> pitch a crossover, which as soon as you're like, pitch a crossover, that's going to be a difficult question. Between the Wheel of Time and a classic cartoon. Okay, let that let that distill in your minds a little bit. I'm not gonna like immediately go to any of but just think about uh-huh. it. Okay, P- pitch a crossover between Wheel of Time and a classic cartoon. Do 
any of the three of you have anything coming to mind you want to throw out there right now? I, I have. Okay. Jenny, go ahead. Came, the yeah. first thing that came to mind. Okay. The Flintstones. The Flintstones. The Flintstones during okay. the breaking. <laughs> the, like, you know, the breaking where they're all like living in, uh, you know, prehistoric times. Well, the okay. Flintstones, they're prehistoric. So you got, <laughs> you got that going on. The... D- <laughs> It's the I mean, it's the it's, it's the, the breaking the Flintstones and the Wheel of Time. Uh, is there anyone that you would put in the Fred Flintstone uh, role, Fred and Wilma? Uh, oh, in the Fred Flintstone role. Okay, yeah. because then you have to deal with like because I'm, I'm putting it at a specific time, right? So there's not really yeah, but it could be like some long. We're talking people that lived through it. You know what I mean? So, uh, but yes, maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> trying to think like is there anyone yeah it, it's a hard it's a the Flintstones and the Wheel of Time okay we'll take Flintstones at the breaking of Wheel of Time I like that yeah uh, Jenny thank you so much for calling in I really appreciate hearing your voice it's good to be back at the dusty wheel or the spare wheel whatever we're yeah. calling it these days uh, and <laughs> uh, and playing the wheel of game time because let's be honest because they didn't drop any origins episodes in August so we can't talk <laughs> about those right now yeah, I'm looking yeah, at you, yeah. Tweeter of Chaos, if you go back and watch this. It's not your fault. We all know it's not. The, don't blame the Tweeter of Chaos. That's, just blame no. Amazon in general, I guess. Uh, okay, Jenny, we'll let you go. Thank you so much for being here. We'll, we'll hopefully see you soon. Oh, by the way, hey, I saw, yeah. before I let you go, I saw that you are now part of uh, the Tarvalon After Dark. Is that true? Yes, it is. It's quite exciting. Yeah, I'm going to be one of the oh, hosts wow. of that podcast. So, yay. yeah. If you if you've never tried out Tarvalon After Dark, uh, it's it's amazing. <laughs> it's an it's an amazing amazing and podcast. Hilarious. I mean, as part of the news that we saw we got from Tarvalon After Dark, they said happy news. Brian called us last week. He is he's normal, chatty self, yeah. and he's deeply grateful for the Watt awesome. community's support. So that's awesome <laughs> yeah. to hear. And they said, a second piece of news, we have a new co-host. Please give a warm, thirsty tinker welcome to, to Lesbian Nerdy. So congratulations. Can't wait for uh, your first episode to come out there. So that'll be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking Ab- forward to it. Absolutely. It was awesome having you, and we'll talk to you soon. See you, Jenny. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Congratulations, Jenny. Bye. Yeah, yeah bye. That's so much. Uh, that's a lot of fun. That's awesome. Let me see. I haven't looked to see. Uh, ooh, over 100 of you voted. Who would you want tr- to see transported to Woodstock? And not a huge surprise there, although I thought Matt and Tom might be coming in second, third here. But Asmodian did win, but Brigitta did get into a second oh. spot there. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, I like this one. Uh, uh, Adam said, thank you very much for the tip, said, if we're talking illustrated cartoons, Matt in a hat. <laughs> Uh, that is I like that. I don't oh. know that, I don't know that there's gonna be a better answer than Matt <laughs> in a hat. That is, is so much better at this than I am, man. Yeah. That is so good. So that is so good. I feel bad I missed another comment that came through. Let's see, I'm going all the way to the top of Ah, shoot. I apologize for anyone else who sent in. I have to go back and look. It's been a while. It's been like three weeks, so I totally missed showing a comment uh, some comments. So apologize for those that I think there might have been one or two other comments that came in. I missed that. I'll, I'll go check them out and uh, and make sure that uh, highlight those on social media afterwards. So, uh, okay, you've had plenty of time, Jenny. There, I, I'm seeing some ideas in chat that are really great. Uh, let me go to you, Tava. Do you have any ideas here? Wheel of Time and classic cartoons. Um, I was thinking Cinderella, but then. Elaine is already <laughs> Prince, Wheel of Time. Okay, I, I so, got you. So current current Wheel of Time time with yeah. Cinderella as Elaine uh-huh. there. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, that that fits. I like that. Uh, okay, April, what <laughs> about quite, you? Not but... quite. Oh man, um, for some reason I have no idea. My brain just works in mysterious ways. Um, I thought my knee jerk reaction was Tom and Jerry, but I couldn't quite figure out how that actually makes any sense. It's a cross. No, you could do it. Yeah. I like Tom and Jerry as, uh, you know, you could do Tom and Jerry as like, like Luz Theron and the Shamael, you know, uh, you could do yeah, like the eternal, okay. the eternal battle, the yeah. eternal battle, uh, between those two souls is 
is basically the classic cartoon Tom yeah. and Jerry. It could be brand like and be dark one in a way. You could, or, yeah, you could, or, you could do that too. Or like yeah. Brand and um, ishy because like it kind of the being chased around kind of situation. My other yeah. thought was a Scooby Doo because Scooby Doo is my favorite, and I was thinking like sort of like how you had supernatural crossover with Scooby Doo. Yeah. We actually get the characters animated in a scooby-doo <laughs> um situation totally. and they're yeah, looking yeah. for tom you know like matt and ran so. i like the i like the scooby-doo gang um that works we've done uh, some loony theories before about these and so i'm seeing some some commonalities uh, tom and jerry is the golem and golem matt, and matt uh, yeah that's a great yeah two rivers go. crew mm-hmm. scooby-doo mm-hmm. fractured fairy tales uh Brigitte oh, uh, transferred to the princess, character. the princess and the frog. That's really good. And uh, the Brigitte and that, uh, that's, I love it. Uh, Lanfear as Natasha, <laughs> uh, S- Snoopy versus the red Aja. <laughs> that's really good. Well, well played. I, I like it. Wheel of time and laugh Olympics. Um, let's see what else did I saw some, uh, Perrin as Shrek. Uh, that's, Oh, a really God. ancient one, Wacky Racers. Oh, my Ga- gosh. Galad as uh, Dudley Do-Right. Dudley Do-Right, nice. yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Tales from the Tinker's <laughs> Wagon. Oh, man. Chat, yeah. you guys are really, really good at you this. Guys are, uh, you guys are yeah. killing it. Oh, my God. <laughs> These are so good. Oh, uh, man. Okay. So we got to move on to another like, question. Like, we gotta... like a sub channel or like a website. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I, I always count on chat. That's why, like I said to you both, you know, this is just relaxed. Like you, you can answer, you can't answer it. Chat's going to come up with something. <laughs> What's great is we have another caller online. We'll bring them in here shortly. So if you hear us, you'll be here just a second. We're going we're gonna to spin this and uh, get to the next question. Here we go. I had to like remember the numbers that we've done. I have forgotten them already. So <laughs> that, I think we already did number two. We did uh, two. Okay, so... I think that was number two. I just saw up there. And I think seven. Okay. So we're on 13. Let's bring 13 back. 13 is this one's going to hurt for some of you. Uh, This is a wheel of time TV show one. You can only keep one of these moments from season one, one like a raging sun Two, Helga Grinwell and Matt talk about Brigitte, the doll. Three, blood snow. Four, on your knees. Okay? Like a raging sun, Helga, Grinwell, and Matt talk about Brigitte. Blood snow or on your knees, what are you going to keep? Teva, of those moments that we're talking about from the show, with Nynaeve as that first one, you have, obviously, blood snow being the um, cold open to episode seven. On your knees, the relationship, the moment between uh, Moraine and, and, uh, and Swan. Uh, or that kind of really heartfelt moment between Matt and the little girl with the Brigitte doll. Which one of those don't moments are you going to keep? Mind. You don't have to listen to chat. Don't, don't feel like <laughs> you have to give in to the chat. Ignore, <laughs> ignore I'm chat. Not, I'm ignoring don't, it right now. <laughs> ignore chat. Don't, don't feel like you have to. So good. Um, but yes, you, you have to pick keeping one of those. Which one would you I, keep? I would. All are so good. I would pick Let's Snow. <laughs> it's like I it's mean, so like, unfair, like the right? raging sun is okay. so good too. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Yeah. We're gonna do this because blood <laughs> snow is too good. Clearly from chat. Let's we're gonna we're gonna pull we're gonna pull this back. We're gonna pull this back. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna replace blood snow. Let me uh, let me think about <laughs> season one. I need something that's really. Um, what are we gonna replace blood snow with? It has to be as good. I mean, okay. Um, I'll put this in there. Uh, the Adventures uh, of Rand and Matt. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna replace Blood Snow. <laughs> With, not, okay, you have your options are. <laughs> your, your option is like a raging sun. Helga Grinwell, Matt talking about Brigitte. The Adventures of Rand and Matt, and on your knees. Which one of those moments do you keep? <laughs> Can I have my blood snow back? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get um, blood snow back. That was too easy. Uh, like the raging sun. Ooh, yeah. you're keeping like a raging sun. I'm seeing yeah. that show up a little bit. How about you, April? Which one of the which one is which one um, of those would you keep? On your knees, definitely. On your knees, okay. <laughs> Marcia, like the yeah, we didn't give this option up. Uh, 
<clears throat> if I can get to it, yes, lands lands butt. We did not make that an option. Oh uh, yeah. That, that. <laughs> so uh, okay, on your knees and like a raging sun. I'm gonna have to say, this one's really tough. Um, but I talk about this all the time. Uh, so yeah, I'd, man, I'd have to keep Adventures of Random Matt because it's just too <laughs> on point with the books. So I have to keep it. Uh, let's ask our next caller what they would keep. So let me welcome them to the show. Hey, welcome to the Dusty Wheel. Who's this? Hey everyone, it's Anas. Anas, what's up, man? Um, just uh, enjoying enjoying the show. Um, I would totally keep the Adventures of Matter, man. I mean, okay. watching episode three and seeing that, I was like, okay. I mean, episode one was nice, two, sure. Three was where I was like, this this is out of the world. I mean, we're we're this is it. I think okay. that's when I felt um, totally in in the in the show, in the books, you know, it, it emerged for me there. Okay. Uh, let me ask, let me ask everybody there, uh, like a raging sun. I think I said, Matt, uh, little Grinwell. And we'll say Brigitte doll. And then we're going to add adventures of Rand and Matt. And then we're going to say on your knees. I'm kind of curious where, that was so unfair of me to ask uh, <laughs> ask Blood Snow. <laughs> That's just that was it was. I should have just not. I should have nixed that originally. But it was so funny to see like chat just go like Blood Snow, Blood Snow, Blood Snow. Um, that was that was that was a classic chat moment. Um, okay, uh, no, Matt is not. Uh, Matt's saying I would have to keep Blood Snow if it was one of those options. Uh, I would have to pick Blood Snow too. Uh, all, so, I think. yeah, I, that's why we had to go. It, it's a. Uh, it it had to, be off that list. Okay, so while everyone here asks additional questions, like you just got to interpret <laughs> these questions, uh, these options as you would, like how much of that section you want to keep. What would you uh, include? Uh, and Rajesh, <laughs> what is this Watt idol? <laughs> Uh, no, I, I answered the question. See, I don't during uh, during what I don't I don't answer the questions. <laughs> so let's let's uh, let's go to the next question while everyone <laughs> chat is triggered right now. Uh, let's uh, let's find out what else we can ask everybody. Uh, five five it is. So Anas, you're here with us for question number five. I'll go yeah. to you for the first answer on question five. Okay. So you're going to replace one member of the Rand, Min, Elaine, Avienda polycule with any one other character in the series. So you got to take one out of that group and put another character in the series. Uh, which member are you going to take out and who are you going to replace him with? Uh, I'll take out Elaine, put in Eludra. Uh, the Elaine thing never made sense. I think Eludra is awesome. I think Luder makes like a big, I mean, she makes dragon eggs. I mean, he's a dragon. Um, it makes, it makes sense, right? Yeah. I, I, a Ludra for a Ludra and Elaine is the, as the, as the you swap. I like it. Okay. April, which, which character you're taking out of this, uh, group and which are you putting in? Okay. So I thought about this earlier and I was going to go with Egwene, but I th now I'm feeling like that's too run of the mill. Like, like, um, so maybe Alana instead. I mean, cause Alana bond, you know, um, bonds him, bound him. Right. Yep. So, so, uh, you're through your yeah, throw. Yeah, I'm Alana okay. because then that makes all four of them have a, have a Isa die bond situation. Okay. okay. Uh, by, by the way, um, Anas, I, I don't know why you guys aren't screaming at me for this in chat, uh, but hey, everybody. Um, this is a live call and talk show all about the Wheel of Time. So there are spoilers for the books and the TV series if you happen to be watching us right now. I just put a little sign up on the screen if you didn't realize <laughs> there'd be spoilers. <laughs> now you know. We're not looking to spoil the entire books, but we may spoil things that happen, let's say, in book, I don't know, there's like six, seven, eight, you know, that can happen. Um, so uh, just so you know. I wanted you. <laughs> I don't know. Did you? Were the mods? Were, I don't know if you guys were like mentioning this or not. If I was just missing it. But uh, so yeah. Uh, that being said, 
let's move on from here. Um, I like, uh, so what was, remind me what you just said. What was your option there, April? Oh yeah, Alana, uh, I like it, yep. Yeah, uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with Alana. I originally was go. thinking, Al uh, not Elaine, I was originally thinking um, Egwene, but I think, I, I like that Alana, that all four women have, have him eyes and die bonded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Mannequins, everybody. <laughs> look, look, Noman Garden, I want to point out something here. Um, clearly, I'm not out of practice, witnessed by that one event, because I rarely tell spoilers, even when I'm, <laughs> even when I'm doing like two shows a week. So I don't, I mean, there are other things tonight you could say that clearly put that I was Sorry. out of practice, but not that one. That one is not. No, what ends up happening is I'll hear something and be like, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Someone might not have wanted to know that. Yeah, it's nothing I to be. For anyone, um, sorry, I, I dropped a bit yeah, of a don't, 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 don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's mine. It's mine to own there, April. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, Teva, uh, who would you in this grouping remove from the po this polycule, as it's uh, said here, and then who would you replace? Uh, With. I was going to be <laughs> answer same thing as uh, April uh, Egwene, but then that's too obvious so i berlaine <laughs> she's already berlaine you know oh, into yeah. him and you know I, so I, I, <laughs> it must it might be unpopular answer <laughs> but <laughs> would you also remove elaine is that the person you replace elaine yeah <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Let's 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 be nerdy, by the way. Uh, yes, the spoiler was in the question. Yes, again, I forgot the thing. That's true. But if you if you're here an hour later, hopefully you would have already left if you really <laughs> didn't want to spoil there. That's a bad hope. Uh, so, okay. So what I think is really funny about this is most of everyone's uh, replacing um, uh, Elaine, but I there's a lot of answers here like Nah, replace no, Rand with I Mirel. Wasn't. <laughs> Can, can um, I, I wasn't. I wanted, obvious I wanted one no one has mentioned. Oh, sorry. Say that again. What did you say, Nas? I was saying the obvious one no one has mentioned. Is I what? Mean, we're talking about is Rand. And so Lanfear and replacing Avienda because that's what she wanted to do, right? <laughs> that's a good one. I like re replace Min with Galad. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Oh Let's say remove remove Elaine and add Aram. Uh, that was a or Karen. Say, take out Min and put Olivia. Out Min and put Logan. That would <laughs> cause some consternation. Uh, take out Elaine and add Andrel. Uh, replace Go everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> with, what does this even mean? <laughs> replace everyone with Cowan and Fail. Uh, uh, replace Min with Miral. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, there was one that was like take out a lane and put in a <laughs> put in a bear. Uh, okay. <laughs> so uh, Anas, man, awesome having you. Thank you very much for calling in. I appreciate you uh, uh, contributing to this and bringing up uh, Landfear Avienda mix. Uh, that was a good one. So, hey, man, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, of course. All right, yep. Bye. Yep, bye. Okay, we have somebody else calling in. Hopefully, y'all having fun. Uh, we're like an hour into the show, and this is like chill wheel of time at the Dusty Wheel. <laughs> Just doing and talking about ridiculous things. And doing this, which I love, is spinning this wheel. Uh, we'll get our next caller in here shortly. Let's see. We've already, oh my gosh, two is that number. Yeah. I don't know. We've, we've done two, two is that number that this thing just will want to come back to. Um, oh, okay. 20. 20. Let's uh, look that up here, everybody. Uh, 20 it is. And what do we got for 20? Let's see. Um, okay. Uh, this, is, this is a book question. Again, spoilers. Uh, most absurd part of the Wheel of Time books. Just the most absurd thing when you read them or that, you know, when you think back and you were like, that's, that was ridiculous. I have one coming to mind right now. So think about that. Do either of you have something coming up so far in your heads about something just absurd? I mean, over four, the course of 14 books, seven, 800 plus pages per book, there's going to be just something that just hits you as just like nonsensical. Uh, so you, you, something kind of coming to you, April, Teva? Do you have something in mind? 
I'm seeing April kind of shake her head. Okay, so Teva, yeah. think about this. Um, wh what is it, April, for you? Most absurd, kind of nonsensical yeah. part of the Wheel of Time books. I always thought, and this is a little serious, but I always thought it was utterly bizarre that Matt just goes, yeah, okay. I've now met, I've now met Tuan. I've met, I've now met her. I'm going to marry her. And he just like accepts it and moves on. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what is yes. happening right now? <laughs> yes. The, like, uh, I think that, that is, uh, I totally get that? that. Yeah. I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to end this poll. Which of these moments would you keep from the show? Like a raging sun won this one. Adventures of Rand and Matt though came in second. So <laughs> I'm already seeing like <gasps> spankings has showed up a couple times in chat. <laughs> I have to They're more like beatings. I, I don't know. I guess it depends. <laughs> oh, I've seen some great answers in chat here. Teva, for you, kind of the most nonsensical part. We have Matt and Tuan. What's for you the most nonsensical part of the Wheel of Time books? Um, the most recent that I can remember is yeah. uh, when Moraine had her staff and, and she, you know, threw it away and never mentioned it before. And <laughs> Would, does she not want to replace with another? You know, like oh, gotcha. That there wasn't know. like there wasn't like, like this like it wasn't like never a wand. Came back. Like, yeah. <laughs> You're like, why didn't she like go and get another one? Like, yeah. uh, why isn't there just like a like basically like hey, uh, yeah, I'm thinking like Harry Potter and wands. It's mm -hmm. like the wand's gone. You have to go find a new one. So. <laughs> That's, that is funny. Okay, I like that. That one's good. I'm seeing, I'm trying to think of for myself. <clears throat> this one struck me while I was reading the books. I'm sure the first time through the whole series. I don't mean like the first necessarily the first couple of books because this doesn't really happen. It doesn't start to really grate as nonsensical until later on. But I absolutely remember this, which is just the absurd level of people not talking about stuff <laughs> like like they when they have the power to go like sure you don't have yeah. a phone you can't get to that you can't get to that person but once they had the ability to actually go talk things out when they just had like a question or something that they would almost like like do violence over not knowing the answer and that they wouldn't just talk it out just at some level these people grew up together a lot of them and the idea that they just would not, the, the lack of communication, there's something true about it. I don't, I don't disagree with that. There is something. You can go 10 years and not speak to somebody you thought was a close friend and still have a phone by your side. You always could have called them. But it is just, there are just moments where you're like, that's just, it went over the line. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't believe the, uh, I can't believe the absence of some communication is not happening. So that, that bothered me the first time through and uh, I like uh, the circuit, the circus act is absurd and also wonderful. <laughs> that was a surprise. A Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is a, that is a huge, uh, <laughs> Oh, a, a Rosa men sitting on Rand's lap. <laughs> uh, this one gets a lot of people, by the way, this one becomes, this starts that, that fights. This one starts fights at conventions. Uh, Moraine and Tom's relationship, man. Um, uh, yes, uh, all the spanking. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, all these. Uh, when I see lists like this, I just I have these awesome moments where I just think about so many years of reading these books, and I just get to the part in the book and be like, "Oh my gosh, not this, not this spanking again! <laughs> I can't do this." Uh, all right, these are, this is still in the books. Um, I saw somebody, yeah, exactly. Uh, if anyone ever said this, Hinderstab, no way. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's absurd. Hinderstab, Hinderstab is absurd that. in like the best of ways. Uh, that's, um, <laughs> this one I have to show. Oh, gosh, this is so good. Mas Masana killing Asmodian. That is, that is on point for an answer. That, that is amazing. So I've made our caller wait too long. I'm sure they have a lot of answers for this question. So let me bring them in and hear what they have to say about what they think is the most absurd part of the Wheel of Time books. Hey, welcome yeah. to the Dusty Wheel. Who's oh, this? Yeah. This is Philip. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. 
So I and my and choice. So they have a lot can you? Hey, I, we're we're struggling to hear you just a little bit because you have that the the, the uh, oh. something on in the back playing. Yeah. If any of you mute that in the back, and then you can yeah, then tell us. Sorry, I just wanted to hear you. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, go for it. My choice for the most ridiculous thing in the wheel of time is the millions of trollocs that come out of the blight. You know, that's a wasteland, but there's millions upon millions of trollocs. Yeah, the uh, they talk about like, and Jordan goes in and talks about like how trolloc are born and like if you did like something like. I don't know. Jordan could have made it where like Trollocs are just like generated out of a Terangreal. I don't know. <laughs> like you could have like, there are ways to kind of bring that, but yeah, there just seemed to be like an impossible number of fodder, if you will, uh, for, for wars when it comes to the number of Trollocs. So I'm, I, and, and the amount of food that would be required to feed an army. Uh, so I, I love that. That's a, that's a, <laughs> That is a great answer. Hey, uh, how long have you been reading The Wheel of Time? Uh, since 92, 93, 90. somewhere around there. Nice. I love it. Yeah, I, uh, I started back then in 90. And so you were, you were among the, the, the long waits for the books. Uh, so that's awesome. Yeah, that, that's a special experience that actually everyone that is watching the TV show now is having, which is you're waiting. Um, and I love that new fans that weren't reading back way back then are having that experience of having to kind of like, uh, I don't know, if they're excited about it between seasons, if you will, is kind of like waiting between books. So uh, fantastic. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for calling in and answering that question. Actually, maybe I'll give you one more. Let me spin this wheel and you give us your answer for the next question and then we'll let you go. Here we go. Let me spin this. Everybody, let's move on to the next question. There's some great answers. Ooh, 10. I don't think we've done 10 yet. So let me go look. Okay, so this one's tough. Pick two dark friends to form a presidential ticket. <laughs> Who are two dark friends? And you can include, we'll include anyone. Uh, you know, you can include the Forsaken here. Uh, but two dark friends that you would form a presidential ticket from. Maybe, maybe you can only use one Forsaken for this, but otherwise you have to, you can't choose, choose two Forsaken. But yeah, tell me who would you pick here for among dark friends for the best presidential ticket? Yeah. Cherium and Leandra. <laughs> it's good. I love it. That's a good. That's a good ticket. Hey, thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate you and uh, for for sharing those answers with us. And we'll talk to you hopefully here soon again. Give us another call uh, at another show, okay? Roger. Hey, thank you so much. Bye bye. I like that. <laughs> uh, this is. Uh, this is really good. Oh, man. Thank you so much for everybody that participated in actually sending in these ideas. Now, you both have had time to think about this. Uh, and I hope everyone took me serious about this dark friend stuff. Uh, sorry, <laughs> the spoiler banner there. And you left <laughs> and are not watching this because some of these are getting into very spoiler territory like this one. So uh, let me go to you, Tava. Uh, do you remember? I know you were saying that you haven't like... It's not like you've been rereading these over and over again, but do you remember enough of the dark friends or, I mean, I guess you can throw forsaken in there if you'd like, but who would fill out your presidential ticket? Did you, um, can we pick someone from the TV show or does it have to be? Oh yeah. Someone? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can pick, that's, that's a great way to do it. Yeah. You can definitely pick someone from the TV, from the TV show. Dana. Okay. And, um, I can't believe I forgot his name. The Shinar soldier that repented at the end. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, Sorry. Why am I? Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Ingtar. Ingtar. Yes. Yes. Those two. Okay. So there you go. Uh, I love they it. They have good uh, heart. <laughs> Dana <think. laughs> and Ingtar as a presidential ticket. Mm -hmm. Would you put uh, Dana as the president there? Or are you going, uh, who, did, who would you have as the going for president among your ticket? Dana. Dana. And then yeah. as I want, I want Dana. Dana made a, I, I was a bummed that uh, Dana's gone. So yeah, let's see the hashtag bring Dana back. Yeah. April, you've had some time to think about this. What would yeah. you answer? Okay. Well, what I originally wanted, I can't do because they're both uh, 
they're both um, forsaken. So yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm gonna say, oh, I just ha- okay, all female ticket, okay. um, Masana and Landfear. Well, you can't. We <laughs> can't, can't pick two one. of them. I know you. You can't pick two of them. You gotta like get only one of the Forsaken there. Oh, so, I didn't think Masana was a Forsaken. I thought she was just a dark friend. No, so yeah, Masana is. Yep. Okay. So, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So uh, yeah, which of which of those two do you want to keep, Masana or Landfear? Let's do Landfear okay. and um, let's see now this see he he ultimately I think becomes a person. Taim, does he? Is, 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 do okay. him? I mean, yeah, no, I think uh, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take I'll take that Masana and Taim. And, um, and I want Landfear more for the presidential ticket just because I just think. Okay. That she would, you know, she would just use her wilds and totally sway everybody because, you know, we're dumb. Land, land, <laughs> Landfear would own everyone's dreams. Yeah, yeah. And, she, would, and, she would force everyone to vote for her through their dreams. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Just, you know, uh, that kind of thing. And Taim is just so, is, is she, he would like be the opposite. It's like, well, nobody wants him to be president because he's so, um, like, obviously um swarmy and and not you know not really positive and kind of a little too hungry he's too hungry for it yep. but he balances the ticket for the folks who want like a male in there <laughs> like, so. yes uh, i like it i like the uh, the options there like okay it. cool um <laughs> this is uh the i it's so weird like having read these books for so long and they've been out for so long I still like get all afraid of people being in and it's like, if you didn't want to know anything, that was a bad one to be here for. <laughs> um, so uh, hopefully you left. Uh, that being said, let's move on to the next one here, everybody. Um, okay. What do we got? Is that two again? Oh my gosh. Two is like the... The wheel is like weighted somehow. That it I, the, the two is... Did we hit seven before? I don't remember. Uh, let me see. Oh, we did hit seven. Come on. It's going to be harder to like start not hitting ones as we've gone through a bunch here. Okay. Ooh, 15. Ooh, we have not done 15. This one's also going to be an interesting one. So, okay. Um, let me uh, – we'll bring our caller in here shortly. So if you're on there waiting for us, there's just one person waiting. We'll bring you in here shortly. April, I'm going to go to you on this one. Um Wheel of Time Origins, the yes. book is coming out here in, uh, I think it's in November. So Wheel of Time Origins or Wheel of Time Animated Origins. Which one would you pick? I got to go with the Animated Origins. I just Ooh, love- wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love the artistry of behind the, um, the, an- the animation style. I really, yeah. I really love it. There's, I haven't seen anything really like it before and it's really immersive so i'm going with that okay and uh, let me ask everybody here forward to most um wheel of time or sorry origins of the wheel of time and we got wheel of time animated origins which origins are you looking forward to which Wheel of Time origin are you looking forward to most? Let me ask everybody there. Okay. Uh, Teva, have you heard about this book that's coming out? Yes. Uh, okay. It's on It's on its way. It's on its way. It's, yeah, <laughs> I you, ordered, you pre-ordered it? I awesome. ordered pre-ordered. It's okay. on its way. Um, uh, yeah, apparently there's a, you know, bot, <laughs> bots in chat have heard about it too. Um, so Teva, <laughs> oh, which one yeah. would you, which one did you pick? You had to pick oh. one. Which origins are you looking forward to most? Origins of the Wheel of Time or Wheel of Time Animated Origins? I would have to say animated as well. My okay. girl. <laughs> animated. I, just, I love that art. Dark style. Okay. Yeah. No, I totally get it. No, it, that, yeah. this, was a, this is a tough question, you know, because uh, I love and I'm hoping they do mm-hmm. season two and continuing to see them actually do kind of create these uh, visuals from the book right? Like they're telling the story straight from the book yeah. and getting this. I love, I love the style. I have to say I'm looking forward to though new information, uh, probably oh. more so than previous mm-hmm. information, like 
kind mm -hmm. of seeing the visual of it. So I would pick Origins of the Wheel of Time. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think uh, it's hard to go wrong between the two of them. Let's let's ask our next caller what they would pick. Hey, welcome to the Wheel of Time. Who's welcome to the Wheel of Time? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the Dusty Wheel. Who's this? Did I step? Did I step through a portal? Am I there? <laughs> you're there. You're there. You're there. We made it. Oh, you made it. Uh, I don't look, know I, whether to be excited <laughs> or scared. Probably scared. Well, what's what's great about that is I've just said origins a little of the time. I was just I was writing the wheel of time. It was just in my and look, the dusty wheel is close. So let me welcome welcome to the dusty wheel. Uh, who's this? This is Kyle. Hey guys. Kyle, how hey. you doing? So. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is kind of entering the Wheel of Time a little bit. You're uh, at the Dusty Wheel Inn. Uh, that, that has some applicability, too. That works. Thing. But, yeah. you know, and you're speaking to the innkeeper of the Dusty Wheel Inn. So I, there's some meta connection, I guess. But uh, So, Kyle, how would, you, uh, how would you answer this question? Uh, origins of the Wheel of Time book that's coming out in November or Wheel of Time animated origin stories? As, as cool as those animated origin stories are, and they are really cool, um, it's been so long since we got like a book, a Wheel of Time book. So I got to, you know, and that's how I fell in love with the series. So most of us fell in love with the series. Got to go with the book. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to, these are, what's good is for, if you're listening out there, you don't actually have to pick. You'll get them both. We know you'll get one of them in November. We have no idea when you're going to get the other one. Um, exactly. Because honestly, if they said September, one is definite. <laughs> would you would you believe them? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have to give them hell because you just don't announce they're coming in August and then not deliver. So, yep. come on, people. Um, so, uh, so Kyle, uh, are there been? Have you? I don't know if you've heard the rest of the show. Have there been any kind of spins of the wheel? Any answers to questions where you're like, no, they didn't get my answer. I wanted to answer one of the previous ones. Oh, well, the last one, the presidential ticket. Yeah. All right. I couldn't remember her name, but she's the maiden of the spear that Matt is with, um, who turns out to be a dark friend. Oh, you got to get her on yeah. your Mel. presidential ticket. What was her name? Do you remember her? I can't remember. Her. Yes, but I know who you're talking about. Let me see. Uh, her friend. Melendra. Is it? Yeah. It's uh, Melindra. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you, you, you need her. You need her for the IEL vote. You know, that's a big portion of the population of the Westlands. So that's good. And then kind of flip it on its head. You grab Varen for the president ticket. And then you get the moderates in there, too. It's some of the dark friends, some of the not dark friends. And, uh, nice. Good point. Uh, I love shoot. it. That's, that's good. That's a, I, I think that, that's, a, that's a good take. So, Kyle, when did you start reading The Wheel of Time? Um, I got it. Well, my mom started reading it right when it came out because she got it um, from, like, at the supermarket. And so it's been in my house all growing up. So I, I probably read The Eye of the World in sixth grade, which would be cool. Jesus, wow. 98. No, well, that makes yeah, you feel 98. Old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the sixth grade in 98. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, Taylor was, uh, no, I guess Taylor was not at that point. So at least, yeah, there we go. I didn't have any kids. I wasn't that old. Um, okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's, that's awesome. When did you end up finishing? I know you said you had it in your home. Did you end up, uh, did you re were you kind of there for the whole course up until the Memory of Light came out? Were you waiting for that book and kind of reading it right there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, w I was a waiter and also, and not, not that I worked at a restaurant, but I was one of the people <laughs> to wait. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I come from a really, I have a really large family and my mom read the books and my dad read the books and my two older brothers read the books. So we would get one book for the house and I, I was kind of last in the pecking order. Nice. of getting to read it so <laughs> that's funny it was like a uh, wait plus <laughs> you had to wait plus and that's i like that i like that you're like you've never you might have waited for the book but did you wait for it as your family tortured you <laughs> as they were reading it exactly you know, so oh, yeah well. that's that's a special kind of that's a special kind of experience i like that <laughs> okay okay so we got just a couple more minutes at, uh, for the show right now. Um, let's spin the whiz wheel. And Kyle, you can answer another question with us. So here we go, everybody. 
It's going to hit two, isn't it? Okay. Ooh, it, it hit five. I, it was it was almost at four. Do I like the question on four? Nah, it's okay. Let's go on another one. <laughs> when it gets to the end of this, I get to kind of just, like... Just take uh, one. <laughs> yeah, let me see. 19. Oh, is that what it hit? Okay. Um, okay, so 19. It was at 21, but we've already done 21. So uh, we've kind of done this one already. But... Uh, I want to ask this question, which is most unrealistic wheel of time relationship. What's your most unrealistic? <laughs> you have 14, I guess, 15 books to choose from here. Uh, even with some history, you know, you got, I guess you got a big white book. You got some, you got some history of the wheel of time. Most unrealistic wheel of time relationship, Kyle. Uh, most of them. I don't know. Um... <laughs> no, you, don't know. you can't get out of it by saying most of them. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, like, like, geez, uh, I, you know what, it's a little, it's also a little off the beaten path. I, I always felt one of the things uh, that didn't quite, wasn't, wasn't portrayed super well in the books was that the relationship between Matt and Rand and Perrin, like they're supposed to be friends, but yeah. they oftentimes never seemed like friends, you know, you never saw yeah. them sitting down just hanging out. Yeah, that is, that's a really good point because after that moment uh, where Rand, I mean, I kind of thought it would go away because like Rand kind of tries to push them away at the beginning of the Great Hunt and they're kind of like mm -hmm. side-eyeing each other for a while. But I was like, okay, but that happens in friendships. But yeah, and you hold on, to, you have grudges, whatever. But, but that was that, that one thing. But yeah, it never really got much better, if ever. And like you said, they just, they had that kind of, it became that kind of cliche high school relationship where you just kind of drifted apart, but they saw each other, not like that often, but they did at times. And so it, that's a, that's a great one. I, I think that's a, what a, that's a good pickup. How about, how about you, uh, April, uh, wheel of time relationships, most unrealistic. Well, that's, it's gotta be Tom and Moraine. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, honest to what? God. That's a, that's a shocking answer. That's a shocking I mean, answer. this isn't going to shock anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but it's screaming to mind, I think. So that's the one I got to go with. Okay. I, I understand. I can see that. Uh, how about you, Teva? Most unrealistic Wheel of Time relationship in the books. Well, I was going to pick Tom and Moraine, but <laughs> I have a second <laughs> option. <laughs> Um, Rand and the three women. <laughs> this okay. seems unrealistic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, so we got we got Rand, Matt, and Perrin, mm -hmm. and we got Tom and Moraine. Shock, shocking, shocking option there. Shocking, shocking. Rand, Ben, Elaine, Avienda. Let's see. I have an option here. Let me see. Um, this one's tough. You guys have picked some, some good ones. Um, mm, Are there any evil relationships? Shoot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe the, <laughs> that's a uh, unrealistic though. There's some good kind of evil ones that are, are realistic though. I, and Os just put this out there, Lanfear and, and Rand. I mean, that's a relationship. I don't know that you can really call it that. Um, <laughs> I, I did think about this one, you know, Swan. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm not going to choose any of these. Um, I, I always thought it was kind of ridiculous, the Rand and Egwene thing. Um, really? Yeah, mm. I thought that relationship was just... They just huh. uh, most of them, I'm going to put that one. Yeah, I just felt like... They try to like the. I mean, the show really try like totally takes it. Actually, gives it a relationship uh, yeah. as compared to the books. But you know, they they made a lot of this whole thing like they were kind of this kind of promised little couple. But they did not like the whatever happened after the two rivers. Just none of it showed that there was actually that much care. There was kind of like, if you read the books back as an older, as an adult, because as a kid, as a 15 year old, they didn't notice this, right? Mm -hmm. But like, there's kind of like some possessive kind of side and, you know, controlling side from Rand uh, mm -hmm. a bit, but like, it doesn't seem like a, 
like a relationship. It just seems almost like a, like Rand was a caretaker of sorts. Like he was, had to do, I don't know. I just didn't, I, I didn't like that relationship at all. So, uh, in the books, Mm -hmm. well, uh, Kyle, thank you so much for, uh, joining us in the wheel of time. Um, appreciate that. (laughs) Thanks for having me. Uh, I'll always remember that. That's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for coming Luckily it wasn't a breaking. (laughs) No, I really appreciate having you here and, uh, yeah, please do, please do give us a call again and we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Have a good one. Have a good one guys. Yep. Bye-bye. Oh man, that's good stuff. Whew. Uh, let me uh, see what we got here as far as answers. Uh, what do we we got? Almost a hundred votes here, and not not unsurprisingly, uh, Tom and Moran is winning that one. <laughs> well, thank you to all of our callers. I don't know the last time we had eight callers on the show, but that was amazing. Uh, that was so much fun. I'm looking down through this. Uh, let me do a quick fire. We don't have to like spend a lot of time on these. You guys sent in some great options for questions. The one we didn't get to, we're not going to have time for this one, is like draft your fantasy wheel of time team. Pick five players. That would be a fun one to do sometime. Uh, but I want to ask you both this. Uh, looking forward to most. We didn't get to this question, but Teva, season two trailer, season two cast reveals, season two premiere date, or season two leaks and rumors? What are you looking forward to most in the coming year? Trailer. Trailer? Trailer's your... Yeah. It will reveal characters, actors, hopefully. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, trailer. Like, honestly, and for those of you kind of watching out uh, that are watching us right now, uh, right after we did the second trailer guide on, I did not want to sit in a chair for 12 hours and do another one immediately. And it took me until, like, (laughs) took me until, like, the first quarter uh, of the year to like kind of be like, yeah, I want to do this again. I'm actually now back there. I'm like, give us a trailer already. Let's get down. Let's let's break this out and let's let's spend 12 hours dissecting uh, oh the the trailer. That was a funny part. I, I think I mentioned I was watching I was watching the interview that I had done with uh, Lorne. Sometimes I don't go back and watch those things, and so it had been a long time since I had seen that. And he was mentioning how he was watching us dissect the trailer and he said something like we hadn't found all the easter eggs and i don't know what it was but that bothered me because i was like did we ever find them all and i wanted to go back and watch the trailer and be like did i miss something in this trailer even though now we've seen season one and i was like so i'm ready for a trailer i'm ready for trailer guide on yeah. uh, for sure okay how about you april of those four options what are you looking forward to most in the coming year knowing the premiere dates uh, for season two, more like leaks and rumors coming out, the trailer itself, or more cast reveals? Premiere date, so that I can figure out how much time I have for a reread. Yes. <laughs> premiere date would be nice. Uh, we want a premiere date so we can create those countdown clocks and then be yeah. really, really <laughs> annoying to ourselves yeah. and everyone else by saying 93 days left before this premiere. <laughs> uh, so. Yes, I, I would love it. Uh, it's hard for me to pick anything above kind of getting a trailer, but uh, what kept us alive kind of loving this for the last like many years before the season was all the leaks and rumors and, you know, cast reveals. So uh, whether or not we get a trailer anytime soon, which I don't think we will, I'd love some Watt series if you're out there. Like we need some more, I wouldn't call them leaks. We just need some more investigative finds. Do they have like trailer bring to us, the bring trailer some, nowadays? Yeah. <laughs> you know? The, like the the teaser trailer, yeah, exactly. <laughs> trailer to the trailer, so we will take let, that. Let me see. Uh, our 120 of you voted on this. Most unre- unrealistic relationship in the Wheel of Time. Tom and Moraine get 55%. Not, not surprised. I will make this our last poll question. We'll say goodnight to everybody. Um, what are you looking forward to most? I'm going to call it season two premiere date season two leaks and rumors and we'll call it uh, season two trailer and then season two now we'll just we'll end it there actually we'll just give them those options we'll uh, leaks and rumors includes we'll include castings in that one um, and then uh We'll ask everybody this. That'll be the last poll question. Whew. That was a, was, that was a quick 90 minutes, if you will. A quick show. 
April, how was that experience? Uh, did you enjoy your first stay here at the Dusty Wheel? <laughs> yes, I loved it. And um, I hope you'll have me back again. I'm looking forward to doing this again. It was so great to talk to you again, see you again. Yeah, you too. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully we'll see you again at WatCon. Uh, you know, that yep, was such a blast. Already, so. That's already going to happen. Like, <laughs> I, I yes, I, I, <laughs> I, will, I look forward to seeing you all again. Come up and when you, if you do make it to a convention uh, next year, I think actually I want to say Malkyricon is coming up here. Somebody tell me in chat. Yeah, November, I, I want to say it's like in the, this this weekend this maybe. Weekend. Uh, this weekend. Uh, so uh, people need to put the link here in chat. There is still a virtual ticket if you're Malkyricon is actually a, 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 a convention that's happening out in I think it's in London maybe. I don't yeah, know. I think it's out think. there yeah. and. Uh, I don't know how many are going at this point, but I've seen a lot of fans say they're going and they have a virtual ticket to it. So uh, I'm not sure if there's actually um, a uh, link to go see it, but Anas said it's on Friday. Friday is when it begins. It is happening this weekend. So be on the lookout. If we have, again, if there's a link that somebody can put to more information, please post it there and we'll, we'll and I'll make sure to kind of retweet that. But yeah, this weekend it's in Manchester, sounds like. There we go. That's right. Malkiri talks, Malkiri Khan. Anas for the win there in chat. So (laughs) it's in Manchester and it begins. uh, Oh, it looks like, uh, yeah. So Friday is when it begins. So anyway, more information about that. So if you want to go there, but then there's conventions coming up. I won't be at that one, but I'll be probably at JordanCon and WatCon next year. So if so, please come up and say hi if we haven't met. I'd love to, I, I love chatting with fans about their love for the Wheel of Time. So. Uh, Anas just said, by the way, it's actually Saturday that it begins. So uh, that being said, thank you both for being here. Teva, hopefully you had a good time thank you. here. I, uh, <laughs> I, see, I told you, this is easy, right? It's yeah. just, it's just like <laughs> sure. getting together with some fellow fans, chatting about yeah. the way of time. No, I appreciate you both spending well, the time. Thank you. I, I do know you have other things you could be doing with your evening. So thank you everybody for that was here and chat with us. All our callers, like I said, that was, uh, that was so much fun. It's fun just to open the call lines and hear from fans uh, all around the world in this case. So that was a blast. That's it, everybody. Hopefully uh, we will be back. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm planning on it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm planning on being back mm-hmm. here next Wednesday for another show. And uh, hopefully we'll get a schedule set. I know I promised a bunch of episodes. I looked at that list. And I was like, I don't have time to prep any of those. So I need to make time this week <laughs> and get those scheduled because those are some fun, fun episodes coming up. So thank you, everybody. It's awesome to see you and hear from you all again. It's good to be back here at the spare wheel, if you will. So with that being said, good night from the Dusty Wheel and Smash to Black. You went right to kill it. Look at you, you're all ready. You're just done. I mean, this is like, uh, this is really like well. Um, and now I'm like, great, my turn. <laughs> and if you don't like that, um, you want to say, well, Robert Jordan could have made the two rivers all white. He could have, but he gosh. didn't. So okay. Just complimented me so, on my dress, and as you can clearly see, I'm sad. I just I, I like me as something along the lines of a Shida Haran analog. For the it does make sense why it outlasted the breaking. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. you know, this is why I have Therese in the show because she's going to correct everything that. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Dusty Wheel, Wheel, Wheel Show. What? Meme off challenge. Yay! Pair of, like, baby face mounted on, like, a huge body. So, like, all <laughs> this of is a not habit. just <laughs> a traditional <laughs> fantasy, right? There, there are sci fi And elements just a moment ago, kind of uh, Rafe tweeted something. So, let me get my guests in here with me. <laughs> and probably, let's, I would let's say, get, let's put in. Talking. 70, 80% of the work. I got to be over the shoulder and be like, no.